All right, too. Dre here. And uh, don't mind the junk in my truck. I'm in the process of moving. Gave up the storage unit. And um, right now I got nowhere to put my stuff, so I put it in the back of the truck. Um, <clears throat> anyway, this video is talking about mainly these two items. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember, did I buy this first or did I buy, I think I bought, no, I bought, I bought this first. Actually, I don't remember which one I bought first. <clears throat> anyway, I used to use this, but I got tired of having to plug the damn things up and I needed a cordless one. And I didn't think the cordless ones was that strong. I didn't think they would last that long, but a friend of mine had a Craftsman and I remember he said that he was able to rotate uh, his tires on his car without recharging anything and he had enough power to break the lugs and put them back on. Now, of course, I'm not the kind of person that torque lug nuts. I don't torque lug nuts. I put them on and I, I, um, tighten them until the bolts stop you know i mean i don't just sit there and crank on it but put it this way i never had a problem with love necks coming out never ever ever in any case i bought this i remember i bought this uh, i think it was in 2008 because i was trying to get a uh re-end bolt off of 92 ford explorer and i and the the um bolt kept turning so I bought this, okay. I bought this, like I said, cause I needed a cordless one and it works pretty good. Uh, I wanted the, what do you call it? The Milwaukee, but that one was too expensive. And I'm gonna tell you something, you guys are not gonna believe this. This puts on bolts that this one, I mean, this will take off bolts that this one can't take off. I mean, that's, that's really amazing. But after watching a video on YouTube on how impact works, impact, the impact part is right here. This is the impact part, not here. This is just the motor that spins it. But if you look at it, this motor looks bigger. This impact looks bigger. But this sucker here is stronger than that. And this, I bought this, I saw a guy had one of these one day and he used it to cut a bolt off. And I went and bought one of these and they are extremely good at cutting bolts off. Um, as a matter of fact, today I'm planning to use it to cut down my first socket. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to go change oil in a friend of mine, Chevrolet Equinox. And the socket that I use to take that oil filter bolt off it's too tall, so I'm gonna cut off about a, I don't know, half inch of it, and I'm gonna film that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys my electric wrenches and why I bought them. I also have a um, cordless 3.8 drive. Uh, it's not a impact, it's just a ratchet, ratchet wrench. It's in my other toolbox, so I don't have it. But anyway, that's about it on this video. I just wanna show you guys my electric tools thing and I haven't used this I can't remember the last time I used this when I first got this I put a bolt on with this and I wanted to see could this take it off and it took the bolt off right away um, technology is amazing really amazing anyway this is Dre you guys have a great day hope you enjoyed the video